signatures has been changed in your office? Yes, it was out of the state seal that initial. All right. And you obtained a DNA profile of Ari Bonner III from this sample swap, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right. If you could um, explain to the jury what results you obtained from your um, scientific testing on the DNA from the right side of the steering wheel, please. I'll read my conclusion from my report, which states that the frequency of the DNA alleles shared between Ari Bonner III and the DNA obtained from the right side steering wheel swab is approximately 1 in 6 in the African American population and 1 in 5 in the Caucasian population using the loci D8S1179 and TH01. Okay. That was on the right side, is that correct? Yes, that's the right side. If you could um, give the jury your conclusion regarding the DNA analysis from the left side of the steering wheel in comparison to the DNA sample from Ari Bonner III. The frequency of the DNA alleles shared between Ari Bonner III and the DNA obtained from the left side steering wheel swab is approximately 1 in 400,000 in the African American population and 1 in 1 million in the Caucasian population using the low side D8S 1179, D3S 1358. TH01, BWA, TPOX, and D5S818. And these letters and numbers that you're rolling out for the jury, those are locations on the DNA profile that you're matching between the evidence, the piece of evidence, and then the sample DNA. Is that correct? It, it designates a location on the chromosome where we're actually looking at that location. And on the left hand, the left side of the steering wheel, there were um, there were two profiles, correct? Uh, what what side were you saying? The left hand side of the steering wheel, it matched two two profiles, correct? Yes, it matched two pro two individuals. Okay. One was the deceased Christine Cook, is that correct? Yes, the one was Christine Cook, and the other was Ari Bonner. The so the secondary profile on the left-hand side of the steering wheel did match the profile of Ari Bonner Yes, it did match. And you um, submitted that report on 5-24-2013, is that correct? That is correct. Right, I'm going to turn your attention then. Um, were you asked to do some follow-up testing of another piece of evidence after you did those two? Yes, I was asked to perform DNA testing on uh, fingernail cuttings. Of the, of the All right, and um, I've showed you State's Exhibit 61. I'm going to show it to you again. This is the fingernail kit, is that correct? Yes, this is the uh, collection kit, fingernail clippings collection kit. Right. And did that come from you, from Dr. Sims, with Dr. Melissa Sims, who is the medical examiner of the GBI? I believe so. I need to check on my notes here. Well, it was submitted to the laboratory uh, from the GBI medical examiner. Okay. All right. The GBI medical examiner. And it was um, sealed and signed um, for security purposes when it reached your lab. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then you performed testing on this particular kit. Is that correct? Yes, I performed testing on that. All right. And if you could briefly explain to the jury what type of testing you did. So I did the same uh, testing as where I did the four steps. And in this case, there were uh, right hand fingernails and left hand fingernails. And I took swabbings one swab of the left hand and one swab of the right hand and then perform the DNA testing on those. Alright, um, and on the right hand side fingernails, uh, did you obtain the profile? Yes, I did. Christine Cook. And um, you got Christine Cook's D8 
DNA profile from the blood stain card that was submitted to you from the medical examiner as well? Yes. All right. Um, then did you test the left hand fingernails? Yes, I did test the left hand fingernails. Okay. Um, and let me ask you a specific question. In, you get the, the kit and it's the actual fingernails, is that correct? Yes, it's the clippings of the fingernails. Um, and did you notice whether or not uh, the clippings on the fingernails were painted or not? Yes, the fingernails were painted and they were red. Okay. Um, and did they appear to have linked to them off of your fingers? Could you repeat the question? Um, could you tell that there were tips to the fingernails? Or, I mean, were they straight across or did they appear kind of pointed? Or I looked for a variety of different sizes, but I just saw you could really clip your hands. Um, do you just swab one particular fingernail off of a hand, or do you take the entire aggregate of the hand, the nails? Around? In this case, I swab each nail um, from, each, from uh, each hand. Right. And does that help you get a, a bigger sample, possibly, of DNA? Yeah, the presumption is that if I swab in more nails, then With a reasonable scientific certainty, it can be concluded that the DNA obtained from the left hand fingernails from item six, which matches Ari Bonner the third, originated from him or his identical sibling. So Ari Bonner the third's DNA um, was up under, uh, or was found on the left hand fingernails of Christine. Yes. Um, did it appear to be a very strong DNA sample? In the different locations that you were able to. Uh, it was a, I was definitely able to, well, within a reasonable scientific certainty, say that it was already on the third. Um, they matched in almost all of the locations we looked at. Right. Um, are you able to determine from that conclusion uh, whether there was possible tissue up under her nails? I would say that. Uh, Based on the DNA profile obtained, that it's likely that there was tissue under the nails. 